Hello everybody, this is Georgiana and Meredith from Creativity for Kids, and today we are going to do a steam-based craft called the Grow and Glow Terrarium. So Miss Meredith, take it away. Yay, thank you Georgiana, and thank you Felicia, and thank all of you for being here today. So as we mentioned, we're doing the Grow and Glow Terrarium, which is one of our most popular kits. And I happen to have one already done for you to check out. So you can see all the fun stickers. We've got glow in the dark st stickers, glow in the dark sand, and you actually grow your own seeds in here, um, wheatgrass and chia. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you're given in this set Dump it all out here. We have our handy dandy instructions. Put those here. All of our very fun stickers, as I mentioned, these are glow in the dark. The blue ones are glow in the dark. So you can see those. And then we have four color stickers or colorful stickers. The moon, little raccoons and foxes and bears and mushrooms and fireflies. We have our seeds. So we have chia seeds, which are the smaller ones. And then wheatgrass seeds, which are the larger ones. We have our soil. This is really easy soil to work with. And our glow in the dark sand, as well as some white rocks that we'll use for the top of our terrarium. And finally, our water bottle and our two little figurines that you're given to hang out in your terrarium. The one is a cute little raccoon who's toasting marshmallows. He's toasting marshmallows. <laughs> and what do you think he's toasting marshmallows over? Ta da! A little campfire. little campfire. All right, so if you do not have this kit at home, that's okay. You can still um, craft along with us. If you just take like a peanut butter jar or an old jelly jar or something that is clear and you can clean that out and use that as your terrarium. And then you would just need to get your own soil and your own seeds and any other little figurines that you might want to put in your terrarium. And maybe you have some stickers left over from another craft kit or something to decorate the outside of your terrarium. So let's go ahead and get started. A terrarium is a miniature garden created in an artificial environment. Small, small plants, rocks, and garden themed accessories are often included. These gardens are planted as a fun hobby or for educational purposes, which is why we're doing this kit as a steam kit. All right, so get ready to grow. Lay some newspaper or paper towels to work on. This will help keep your area clean while you plant. Um, Layers. Before you begin, open the bag of potting mix and add a half cup of water. Squish the bag until the potting mix clumps up together like clay. So here's our potting mix. We'll put these cute little figurines over there and I'm gonna lay out a paper towel to work over. So here's our potting mix. Mm -hmm. And I did not bring a measuring cup. So what I'm going to do 
is just pour water in until it feels like the consistency that we need, which is, as said in the instructions, like clay. So I'm going to carefully pour and hope that I don't make a mess. Woo! Okay, that was pretty successful. All right, so I poured it in, and I'm just going to squish it together. I'm going to hold the opening closed and just squish it together. And as you squish, you're going to be able to feel like where it's still kind of dry and the soil is loose versus where the soil is nice and wet. But it's not too wet. We don't want it too wet. So kind of like pour in a little water at a time. And in the corners, I can tell that it's still pretty loose. But up top, you can see it clumping together. And that's more the consistency we want. So I'm going to test my water pouring skills again and see if I can just add a little bit more water to the corner area right in here without spilling all over the table. Oop, there we go. All right. Now we'll keep our fingers crossed that that wasn't too much and squish it all around again. Oh yeah, that's actually really good. It's as if I've done this kit once or twice before. Georgiana's <laughs> laughing because I've done this kit maybe like 25 times. <laughs> <laughs> maybe 2,500 times. <laughs> but that's because this is such a cute kit. Like I said, it's one of our most popular kits and it's because it's kind of magical that you get to plant the seeds and watch it grow and have your own cute little environment. Okay, so what do we do next? So layer the potting mix, the sand and the stones as shown. So what we're talking about is as shown in this picture here. So the potting mix goes down first and then the glowing sand, which is purple and blue, and then the rocks, which are white, and then more potting mix, and then seeds. So when you put the potting mix in, you have to save some so you can put some at the top too. So I think it says that in the instructions. All right, so we have to open up on top. And how I'm going to add this is just by fitting the top of the bag into the top of the um, terrarium jar. So it'll be like, hopefully not a lot of mess. I'm just going to squeeze it in like toothpaste, like clumpy toothpaste. It's not the paste at all. All right. We'll just save it a little bit more. So far, do we have any questions out there from our friends who are either participating or just, just watching? No questions? Okay, so what I'm doing right now is kind of just using this part of my finger and like pushing the soil down just slightly, not too hard, just slightly, just to kind of like level it out. And you don't have to do that. You could just kind of leave it however it falls, but I like to make the layers kind of clean. So I'm doing that. And now I need another paper towel. You clean off my finger. All right, so now we put in the glowing sand. And you don't have to use all of it, but you can if you want. And I think I probably will. And it's really fun to mix both the purple and the blue glowing sand, or you could just leave it as one layer of blue and one layer of purple is whatever you want to do. 
Let's pour it in. Ooh, I wonder if I have enough to do like blue, purple, blue. Mm -hmm. I don't think I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you do have leftover sand from another kit or just laying around the house, you could add that in too. You could do a rainbow sand. You could totally do rainbow sand. Rainbow sand would be pretty spectacular. Go. Oh. All right, and around, round, round we go. Around with the purple glow sand. <laughs> there we are. And then our next layer is the white rocks. Okay. So why we're putting white rocks that are larger than the sand is to help with distributing the water. We don't want it like super duper compact. We do want like water to be able to move between the layers. All right. And all of those bags we don't need anymore. Next is more potting mix. So you're going to put the rest of the potting mix in. Oh, there we go. And then just push that down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's cool little golden flecks in here that I believe are mica, which is really pretty and sparkly, but also useful for the soil. All right, again, just clean off. Ooh, maybe you can see some of the mica. Do you see it on my finger? Hold on. Whoop. Whoop, other way. Focus, focus, focus. I come down. Let it focus. And then come up. Nope. Okay. Just seeing. Just seeing if it would focus. <laughs> All right. Now the seeds. So with the seeds, there's a little like helpful hint. And that helpful hint is to not put all the seeds in at one time. Like you want to save some of the seeds to plant at a later date as well. Because if you plant too many seeds at once, the seeds will not grow because they're kind of competing with each other for space and water and light and all that jazz. So we're just going to take a pinch of these, put in there. La, 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 la. And then a pinch of these. So you might want to keep one of your bags that has a little zipper closure. So then you can put your bags of seeds in there and the seeds won't run away. All right, and here's our pinch of chia and just go ahead and sprinkle those in. There we go. Now what you're supposed to do is mist your, um, mist the top of what you just did, the top layer. And again, we're going to see my water pouring abilities this time in a very small container with a very small okay 
I'm actually going to do over this because that might be helpful. Oh, she's doing it. We believe in you, man. I did it. I did it. I did it. That was awesome. Say it might be a little bit easier to literally use a, a faucet <laughs> yes. if you have one of those. <laughs> yes, use a faucet if you have one. Okay, so now that we have our mister filled with water, yeah, it's mist. Let's see, does it say use the mister bottle and water to dampen each layer as you go? Oops, we didn't do each layer, but we are doing the top layer. Once the layers are complete, mist the top of the soil until it is very damp. So we're going to mist the top layer so it's very, very comfortable for the seeds to kind of make their new home in the soil. And I don't think this is in, oh yeah, it is, it's in the instructions. So you can use the eraser end of a pencil to lightly press the seeds into the soil. So once you dampen the soil like this, it'll be easier to stick the seeds in there. And like I said, you're trying to make um, a very cozy Airbnb for your seeds. Make it nice and homey. They're not going to want to leave. It's going to be a, a new home for them. And since I don't have a pencil with me, I do have these little scissors. I'm going to just poke them, poke the little seeds in there. And it's working just great. Little seedies. Welcome to your new home. You're going to love it here. It's almost like you're tucking them into bed. <laughs> you need a little bit of rest. Because this is your new home. All right. And this side too, all of you, go to sleep. Sleep time. Get some rest. Be nice and cozy, and then when you wake up, maybe you will have sprouted. I guess you could call it a hibernation. Oh, They're going to sleep for a couple <laughs> days. They are. They're hibernating. Ooh, let's put that back in there. Okay. And then remember to clean off your scissors so they don't rust. And you don't get soil on the next thing you cut. And I'm going to mist a bit more just because I don't want to have to keep watering it in the next couple days. Um, you do know that you'll need to water it if it looks dry. You don't want it to get dry. And these seeds are very quick growing seeds. So probably in three days or so, you're going to see like these cute little like green little sprouty sprouts coming from the seeds. And if you did put any seeds near the side of your soil, it's really cool because you'll be able to see the little sprouts like right here on the jar. So you'll be able to see it like coming up from the soil and it's just kind of neat. All right, so we have to put our little um, raccoon in. I'm gonna go raccoon -y. And the fire. There you go, little fire. And now we have to decorate with our stickers. So let's put our seeds and our water far away. <laughs> because we don't want to spill. After having accomplished the pouring of the waters. Three times. Three times. That's impressive. <laughs> yeah, I, I surprised myself, Trujan. <laughs> Savvy time surprise, I am. All right, put that away. And let's take a look at our stickers. So like I had mentioned, there's a full moon, some mountains, a tree with an owl. And so I am claiming this part of, oh, do you want to switch? Yeah, absolutely. So this part of our little container is going to be the front because you can see um, actually, if I clean that off, you'll be able to see the little raccoon and the fire. So I don't really want to put stickers in front of that. I'm just wiping the inside of it. So 
the water isn't like stealing the show <laughs> from our little raccoon friend. Here's our little raccoon friend. So this is going to be my front. And then I'll just put stickers all around it. So you can kind of plan that out. All right. So the moon is very important. We'll put the moon right up here. And a tree would be cool. Maybe right over here. Our little tent with a raccoon friend in it, I think would be cute right here. And mountains can be in the background. Oh, mountains right here. And maybe this little sign, this little park sign that says, oh, the forest is that way. And then we're back to the front again. So I want to put a little firefly in a flying around and some mushrooms down here to the side of our raccoon. And now let's put some glow stickers on. All right, so for those of you who have not played with glow stickers before, the way they glow is by absorbing light. So you'll feel that these stickers have a little bit of a texture to them. And when you hold them up to light, they will absorb that energy. And then when you shut off the lights, they will um, expend that energy and they glow in the dark. So I don't know if we have the ability to do that today. What do you think? Is that something we can show off today or not? We could try. That's, that's <laughs> what today is all about. We're yeah. If try. you were able to pour that water three times, <laughs> I think I can try to shut off the lights. All right. Well, we will try and see how this shows up. Because to be completely transparent with everybody, we are not in our photo studio that we normally are in. We're actually in another little office. So we are just trying things left and right. And we are very creative today. <laughs> very, yes, creative problem solving is what's going on. So it's kind of fun to challenge ourselves like this. And I'm almost done with our sticker sticking. But it's so fun to play with stickers. I loved stickers as a kid. I had a sticker book and my my favorites were the scratch and sniff stickers. Did you ever have scratch and sniff? Of course. <laughs> I don't think the glow in the dark stickers were around as much when I was a kid. So I love these. These would have been my probably tied for first favorite. I, was, I use the glow in the dark stickers on my nails a lot. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's super fun. Ooh, so I'm going to do that because I'm going to copy your coolness. Absolutely. And, and totally do that right now. Sharing is caring. <laughs> All right, we'll just move that out of the way and everyone can see that I am extremely motivated by Georgiana's creativity. And now we have a glow in the dark sticker on my nail. Oh, on a neon nail. That's on the neon. best part. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we have both. Oh, and then you want to put um, the top back on your terrarium. So now we have both terrariums, the one that was already done here and the one that we just did 
And I'm spinning them around in order to charge the glow in the dark stickers. Oh, and I'll do a little check. Do any of our friends out there have any questions now? No, okay. All right, so I'm hoping that our stickers are charging. Let's see. Charge, charge, charge. Charge, charge, charge. All right. <laughs> Start with the hardest one. Okay, we're starting the shutting off of the lights. Here we go. Oh, we'll see if it's dark enough. Oh. oh, it's not dark enough. That's okay. Well, we would love to see if you guys are following along and you also did the glow in the dark terrarium kit with us. If you want to have an older friend or an adult or your parents or someone take photos of your terrarium, glowing or not glowing, growing or not growing, we would be happy to see them on our social media, which is hashtag creativity for kids. So we always like to see our friends' creations out there. So please do feel free to share. And if there's no questions or comments or anything, then I will say adieu to you all. Um, thank you for joining us for the Grow and Glow Terrarium. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the class. And I hope that you come back for our next class with Michaels. Thank you, Michaels, for having us. And thank you again. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.